Dear language and literacy graduates of the class of 2021, I would like to introduce you to Zora Neale Hurston, a writer, ethnographer, and playwright during the Harlem Renaissance of the 1920s. She published four novels, two books of folklore, an autobiography, short stories, essays, and plays. She was the most prolific African-American woman author from the 1920s to the 1950s. I bring her to you in this space right now because she has a favorite quote of mine, one that I go to when times feel hard. The quote is, I love myself when I'm laughing and then again when I'm looking mean and impressive. I share it with you as a remembrance of this year and as a touchstone for your future. This quote urges us to bring our whole selves to everything we do, our strengths and weaknesses, our hopes and fears, our needs and our desires. This year, you have brought laughter and joy to your learning. You have shared stories in class about your experiences as literacy learners and leaders across languages and many different contexts. You have brought joy to your experiences as literacy teachers and leaders. You have brought laughter to all of my attempts to use all of the bells and whistles that Canvas had to offer, sometimes not so well. You have also brought joy to our classes by bringing in family members to our learning spaces, intentionally and sometimes unintentionally. And you have contributed to our class music playlists. In community, you have brought joy and laughter through random acts of kindness, through your page turners and study rooms, skip the small stuff talks and jackbox games, cooking via Zoom, those cookies were delicious, and sharing comfort foods and postcards. You have explored language puzzles in the language cafe, and you've learned about publishing children's books and celebrated literacy program with a cultural perspective with Molly of Denali. You have been mean, meaning very serious, to your commitment to social justice, standing against police violence, and standing up for diversity, equity, inclusion, and belonging. You have endured civil unrest and political coups. You have demonstrated your seriousness through your commitment to strengths-based stance when working with colleagues and with learners. You have promoted equity of instruction through multiple ways of assessing knowledge, accessing knowledge, and expressing it. You have attended talking circles and on the implications of diversity, equity, inclusion, and belonging presentations and liberation literacies. You have been impressive this year. You have been bringing your whole self to your learning and leading. You have allowed vulnerability to yourselves and to each other, leaning in to your learning edges. You have found unique ways to build learning and social communities through the remote context. And you have been impressive in facing personal and professional challenges, losses, and joys. Some may think that your Harvard degree is very impressive, which it is. That means that you know it all. As a faculty, our intention was to provide you with the foundational knowledge to share with students, colleagues, families, and administrators as you may build new knowledge and improve literacy practice. We can't wait for someone to change the world you have spent this year surrounded by the HGSE vision, learn to change the world. You can and will change the world for learners and teachers by being literacy leaders and advocates. So please remember to love yourself when you're laughing and again when you're being mean and impressive. Get busy commence with this next chapter of your life. It is my pleasure to present the Language and Literacy graduates of 2021. 
the Intellectual Contribution Award recipient for the Language and Literacy Program, Emily Bond. Olivia Barberi. Caitlin Brescia. Bailey Buchanan. Dana Carr Ford. Ina Ching Chinita Coulter Madison Deming Jamie Lords Elao Donato Sarah Drummond Isabel Ying Jia Viola Fei Miriam Francisco Taylor Gaskill Maria Hakani Elizabeth Faith Kim Tianli Lee Ying Liang Jin Yu Liu Brianna May Julie Marie O'Neill Lorianne Posh Alex Queda Natalie Rorick Julia Rowley Jessica Sivin Daisy Storm Ben Tobin Ian Wang Jiaozi Wu Shan Lin Lin Ewen Cha Chang Zhao E. Chow. And the Marshal for the Language and Literacy Program, Marion Valentin. You have shown your ability to laugh at yourself and to laugh with others. You have been serious and impressive in facing all of the challenges this year has presented during remote learning, 
social and political unrest, personal setbacks and losses. There will be more challenges that we will all have to face, but you will do so with the same fierceness of spirit, determination, gratitude, and grace that you showed this year. Always remember, yes, you.